Hello and welcome to another episode of Toronto FC's Road to the Copa Libertadores. This is Freestyle. We're coming off of a successful run of games in which we won 4-0, had a 3-3 draw, and then a 2-1 victory. Looks like our scoring boots are back. And in our last episode, we confirmed that we did qualify for the Copa Sudamericana, which is the very first game of this episode. So let's get to it. Here we are in our very first Continental Cup competition with Toronto FC playing in the Copa Sudamericana. Now, the point of this career mode was to get into the Copa Libertadores and like, you know, win that. But I'm not going to, you know, throw shade at any Continental Cup competition. If I'm right, I think the Sudamericana is similar to like the Europa League where, you know, the top five teams play in the Libertadores the next section of teams play in the Sudamericana. I think that's how it works. I'm not 100% sure, but I don't care. I'm playing in the Copa Sudamericana. I'm super excited about this. It's the first game where we're going to be playing a Continental Cup competition with Toronto FC, and I'm very excited to get going. The team is looking relatively healthy. Now, the reason I say that is, as you can see, this month is very, very condensed and busy. It looks like on this session, we'll get one Copa Sudamericana game, and then we'll be playing as Argentino Juniors and DC United, all within two days of each other. Managing my lineup and managing the rotation is going to be very important. So we have a squad that is, you know, built enough and rounded enough to manage these games. It's just I'm going to be having to make each starting lineup is going to be a little bit different and halftime substitutions to keep everybody fresh. It's a lot of preamble. Let's hop right into the very first game. I need to quickly just kind of think this one out because it's very important that I get these rotations right. I think this rotation should be okay. Oh, you know what? Roberto Insigne is tired. So I'm doing the right off the bat, I'm doing this wrong. Thompson to start. Lorenzo Insigne playing off of him. I think that's a better combination of things. Game number one, Defensor versus Toronto FC in the Sudamericana. Let's go. I am excited. Ooh, very lucky. Insigne. I keep sending the ball over the net with this guy. Great steal by Petretta. Send this out wide. Let's go. Go Thompson. Go Thompson. Thompson is in. Let's go, Isaac Thompson. With our first oppor real opportunity. Isaac Thompson buries the goal. What a counter attack. What a wonderful play. Started with great defending. We released the ball. What a pass to Isaac Thompson. And one season, look at this shot. Strong, confident, buries it top bins. Isaac Thompson gets our very first Continental Cup goal. Oh my God, there's an ad over there. That's hilarious. I've never seen that before. Great defending. You actually, you don't have the right to make that call. If we're being honest, you can't make that call. Great job by Jimenez to play that short corner. So here we go. It's halftime. We're up 1-0. We have a game in two days. So I need to make some substitutions now. It's very dangerous to do this because our team isn't, you know, the subs aren't the best. But we're going to get Franklin and Gutierrez in. I will do Kone and Anderson. I will take out Insigne and bring in Sullivan. This is a risky move because the game is only one nothing. It's not like I have a, you know, stranglehold on the game. You know, for a team that's double teaming. Let's go! I was about to say they were moving very well, but we handled that double team very well. We found the opening. Isaac Thompson made a great late run into the box, and he scores his second goal of the game, second goal in the Copa Sudamericana for Toronto FC. Huge, huge goal to hopefully seal the game away. I mean, they don't have a lot of time to do much here. 
I say that, but you never know. It needs an accurate cross. Oh, what a save by Acevedo. I swear, if the game let that that little weak header go in, I was going to lose my mind. I don't even like how like how difficult he made it seem. Yeah, yeah, this is what I'm talking about. The game's always going to find a way to do something like this. It doesn't matter. We held on. It really should have been a 2-0 victory, but it doesn't matter. We got our win in our very first Copa Sudamericana game. Toronto FC comes out on top thanks to the lead foot of Isaac Thompson. Two goals by Thompson, an assist by Ronan, and an assist by Petretta. Fantastic start. I'm stoked. I am. I am over the moon. Our very first Sudamericana game. We are heading into game two, Argentinos, Toronto FC. On two days rest, we'll have to make a few substitutions here. What I will do, both Insignia's look healthy. That move that I did seems to have worked. Thompson and Ronan are tired. We're going to give Pardo his very first game. Mabika will come in for Jimenez. If I do both Insignia's, I can't take them both out. So again, it's probably the smarter move to do this. Sullivan will start up front. He'll start as a striker with the get in behind. Roberto will play alongside with him. Game two, Argentinos Jr. versus Toronto FC. All right, and we're off. Come on, get over here. Reyes, we got, or Mabika got that. Do that. Oh, guys, Nardoni really did bad there. Great interception by Mabika. That's two fantastic defensive plays by him. To Sullivan, to Insigne. Let's go! What patient buildup. Petretta finds Sullivan, who's able to hold it up. Roberto Insigne makes a perfect maneuver in the box, gets into an open spot, receives the ball, and buries the shot. Roberto Insigne. Reminding Maximilian Trudeau, hey bud, I'm still your top scorer, so play me. You know, he, he doesn't want to be on the bench too often. Let's go, Roberto Insigne. Let's, uh, Mabeka. Let's go. Great job by Toronto FC to win that ball back. Let's get this ball to Pardo. To Roberto Insigne. And there it is. Just such great movement, great runs, picture perfect passing. And Roberto Insigne easily puts it. Look at Nardoni right to Insigne, who makes no mistake. I think I'll let Roberto Insigne finish out the game. I think it makes more sense to get Lorenzo Insigne some rest. Let's give Ishmael Kone some rest. Marshall Ruddy will go there. We'll put Anderson up here. Start of the second half. Up 2-0. Substitutions have been made in preparation for the next game. Great job by Mabika to steal that ball. Up to Roberto Insigne, who gets fouled and nothing is called as usual. And Roberto Insigne. Look at that determination. Look at that strength by Roberto Insigne. Fighting off multiple, multiple fouls. The man sat one game and just turned to the coach and goes, yo, don't you ever sit me again. Even if I'm tired, don't you ever sit me again. I'm Roberto Insigne. I score hat tricks. Let's go. Great steal by Murphy. Let's go. Roberto Insigne. He's through again. Just shoot. At this point, if the ball's on Roberto Insigne's foot, we're just shooting. Let's go. We'll, we'll let Roberto Insigne do it. We'll swing one in. Change it up a little bit. See if we can find someone's head. And we can. And we can. Let's go. Roberto Insigne said, you know what? Scoring goals is enough. I'm going to do more. Our youth academy star with a wonderful header. What a way to score your first goal. Out wide to Gutierrez. Now what can they do from here? Across. Oh, ah, own goal. <laughs> Look, if it didn't hit the defender, it was going to hit Insigne. Own goal, 5-0. Let's go. 
That is a terrible goal to give up. I would be so mad. I would be so mad if I let up a goal like that. Go Sullivan. He should be onside. And Sullivan adds to the goal mark 6-0. What a picture-perfect pass sending Ian Sullivan into the backfield. That's his first career goal, I believe. Right at the end of the game, Roberto Insigne was like, hey, man, I'm just letting the my coach know. I never want to be on the bench again. Four goal performance by Roberto Insigne. Toronto FC with their largest ever victory. That deserves a shooter McGavin. 7-0. Let's go, Roberto Insigne. Four goals on five shots. He sat a single game and absolutely lost his mind. <laughs> a goal and an assist for Ian Sullivan. Four goals and an assist for Roberto Insigne. A goal and an assist for Anthony Anderson. Nardoni chipped in with two assists as well. Mabika with an 8.6 on defense. Whew. What a fantastic game all around. Toronto FC annihilating Argentinos Jr. 7-0. We're going into game three. Roberto Insigne, super tired after his four goal, one assist performance. I'm sorry, buddy, but I'm going to need to take you out. Is Kerr back? DeAndre Kerr is back. Okay, great. I will start him because it's been a while since he played. Ronan will start. Nardoni will come off the bench. We're at home. Game three, DC United, Toronto FC. Let's go. DeAndre Kerr back from injury. His second injury of the season. <laughs> Looks like DC United are... Oh, they have the worst away record. Never mind. They haven't won on the road yet. Oof. I mean, everything is pointing to them beating me here. I'm coming off a 7-0 victory. They haven't won a road game. They're 100% winning this game. All the jinxes are in place. Uh, oh, oh my goodness. Lorenzo and Cena with a good shot. The deflection went in our favor. DeAndre Kerr got it, fired it right away. Goalkeeper made a huge save. That would have been a janky goal. Jimenez. Good save by Acevedo. That was some good passing. They broke me down very well. Acevedo came in with a huge save. This is a dangerous spot. You know what? Clear it. Send it out wide to Kosi Thompson. What a pass. Come on, Kone. Come on, Kone. To Kerr. Great save by the goalkeeper again. Again, we took our time. We didn't want to rush the shot. The goalkeeper makes another great save on DeAndre Kerr. Some fantastic goalkeeping here. Finds Kerr to Abrego. Across to Kerr. Another save by this goalkeeper. Who is this man saving everything I put on net? Power shot. Deflected. Good block. Reyes. Reyes. Let's go. We finally got the corner routine to work. The end swinger. Jose Reyes. Great start to this game. And Kosi Thompson. Not letting anyone buy him. Great job by Reyes on the defensive end. Let's go. I need a little bit more forward running by my guys. There's Reyes. Oh, Kone to Lorenzo Insigne. Inside. And he buries it. Lorenzo Insigne. Gets the assist, and now he buries the goal. What control by Lorenzo Insigne. Once that ball was placed into him, he makes a slight little move. That deserves the shooter, McGavin. First, let's watch this. Look at that. Boom. One little touch. Fires it. Short corner. That deserves a shooter, McGavin. Back-to-back -back goals real quick. Just what we need. Abrego. Abrego. Oh, I thought I got that ball. What a play by this winger. Could cross it in here. Reyes is there. No one's getting by him. 
out to Insigne, to Kerr, back to Insigne, who's off. Oh, what a move by Lorenzo Insigne! And he scores a magnificent goal! Lorenzo Insigne! That deserves the shooter, McGavin! What a goal by Lorenzo Insigne! We're gonna watch this in all of its glory. Look at this goal by Lorenzo Insigne. That was sensational by Lorenzo Insigne. We might have another goal of the month category there. That was something else. Again, in a situation where we have games on short notice, going into half, up 3-0, well, allows us to make all of our subs and rest some of our key players so that they're healthy for the next game. Like right now, Lorenzo Insigne, although he's on a hat trick, we will be able to rest him so that he can play the next game with his brother. He's got two goals and assist. I have no problem resting him. We will put Isaac Thompson in and let him finish out the game. Gutierrez and Franklin will come in. The best part is I get to bring in Murphy and let Reyes rest. I probably will give Berrios the rest and let's get Marshall Ruddy playing up front in a cam position. This is a good move to start the second half. Very good move to start the second half. Oh, so lucky that they missed the net there. Uh, to be fair, so lucky they got in because that ball should have been stopped by Jimenez. It just bounced to the defend to the offensive player. Go Isaac Thompson. Chips the goalkeeper. What a goal! What a goal! Silk! This team is just playing out of their minds. That's another Shooter McGavin goal. This has been an offensive explosion. That's 11 goals in two games. Doesn't mean we're gonna let them off. Yeah, we're not gonna let them off the hook on defense. We're not giving up anything. Gutierrez coming back. Gutierrez cleans it up. Let's go. Great block by Alex Murphy. Look at Franklin. Look at Franklin cleaning things up here. Oh, oh man, this is bad. Great defending and an unbelievable save by Acevedo. Considering he's done nothing all day. I mean, this flag's blocking us, but oh, what a save by Acevedo. Let's go. Let's go. 4 nothing victory. Toronto FC is on fire. What a performance put together here by Toronto FC. In three games, they scored a total of 13 goals, only allowing one. Huge turnaround from the beginning of the season. We are on an incredible, what was that, five-game unbeaten streak? 4-0, 3-3 draw, win, 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 yeah. Six game unbeaten streak. Roberto Insigne, 11 goals, thir three assists. Lorenzo Insigne, six goals, six assists. Juan Ignacio Nardoni with five assists. Fantastic performance all around. And the last thing we're going to check before uh, calling today EK Ubo still out for two weeks. So it probably won't be until next month he'll be back. This team is looking fantastic. What a wonderful episode. We were on fire today. Not only did we win in our very first Copa Sudamericana game, we followed that up with an absolute dominating performance against Argentinos Jr. winning 7-0 and then crushed DC United 4-0. The team has definitely found their scoring boots. Our defending is out of this world at the moment, not letting anything buy them. It was a absolute perfect performance by Toronto FC. As always, thank you for watching. And if you did like this video, please make sure to hit that like button, subscribe and tap that notification bell. If you wanna watch along live, you can head over to twitch.tv freestyle. Until next time, this is Freestyle signing off. Peace.